हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवीजन डुप्लेक्स एंड टाइम डिवीजन डुप्लेक्स जनरली फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवीजन डुप्लेक्स इज नोन एज एफ डी डी एंड टाइम डिवीजन डुप्लेक्स इज नोन एज टी डी डी द मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम कैन ऑपरेट इन टू ट्रांसमिशन मोड्स फर्स्ट वन इज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवीजन डुप्लेक्स विच इज एफ डी डी एंड सेकेंड वन is a time division duplex which is tdd in frequency division duplex the base station and mobile transmit and receive information at the same time but using different carriers in time division duplex the base station and mobile transmit and receive the signal on same frequency carrier but at a different time the mobile communication system can operate in two transmission modes so in fdd information is received in different carrier frequency at same time and in tdd same carrier frequency is used but the information is received at different time so this is similar to the process of fdma and tdma which we have understood in our previous videos in fdd mode the bandwidth of uplink and downlink are fixed and are usually same hence we can use fdd for voice communication in which uplink and downlink data rates are very similar so the bandwidth of uplink and downlink in fdd which is frequency division duplex are fixed and are usually same so that's why we can use frequency division duplexing for voice communication where uplink and downlink data rates are similar so in voice communication uplink and downlink data rates will be same or similar so if we say uplink uplink is the link from ground station to satellite so it is the link from ground station to satellite downlink is the link from satellite down to ground station so downlink is the link from satellite to the ground station in tdd the system can adjust how much time is allocated to the uplink and downlink hence time division duplex is helpful are more suitable for web browsing in which downlink rate is much greater than uplink rate in tdd which is time division duplexing the system can adjust how much time is allocated to uplink and downlink so here the bandwidth for uplink and downlink are not fixed so example for time division duplex is web browsing where downlink rate is much greater than uplink rate so here the bandwidth is not fixed for uplink and downlink so that's why we can say time division duplexing can be used for web browsing here time division duplex can be badly affected by interference so here time division duplex can be badly affected by interference for example if one base station is transmitting while nearby base station is receiving the information to avoid this the nearby base station must carefully time synchronize and must use the same allocations for uplink and downlink so that both the base station can transmit and receive at the same time to avoid interference tdd must use networks that are made from isolated hotspot to avoid the interference hence tdd must use networks that are made from isolated hotspot to avoid interference fdd is often uses wide area network which has no isolated regions fdd uses 
high attenuation duplex filter that isolates uplink transmitter from downlink receiver in contrast to tdd fdd uses wide area networks which has no isolation regions in fact fdd uses high attenuation duplex filter that isolates uplink transmitter from downlink receiver in half duplex fdd mode a base station can still transmit and receive the information at same time but mobile can either transmit or receive information at a time so in case of half duplex fdd mode a base station can still transmit and receive the information at a time but in mobile we can either transmit or receive information at a, a time if we consider lte it can support tdd and fdd and also it can support half duplex fdd mode if we consider a cell in mobile communication it can either support tdd or fdd a mobile can support full duplex and half duplex fdd and tdd so if we consider lte it supports tdd and fdd and it also can support half duplex fdd mode if we consider a cell in mobile communication it can either support tdd or fdd if we consider mobile it can support full duplex or half duplex fdd and tdd but it will only use one of these at a time this is about frequency division duplex and time division duplex hope you have understood the topic thank you